The effect of the coronavirus on the world's economy is being compared to that of SARS in 2003. That's not the case. Despite the fact that the virus is less deadly, it is actually possible that the impact could be greater thanks to the more important role China now plays in the global economy. The faster the travel ban within China gets lifted and the momentum of the infection rate peaks, the smaller the impact. The number of infections continues to rise quickly, even though the Chinese government has made strenuous efforts to contain the disease. What a difference compared to the SARS episode. The original infection hotspot, the city of Wuhan with 11 million inhabitants, has been hermetically sealed off, as were at least 15 other cities. Travel within China is limited. These drastic measures will help reduce the epidemic. But they also have economic consequences. In many cities, including Shenzhen and Shanghai, public life has ground to a halt. People are avoiding open places like restaurants and shopping centers. The sales of houses and cars have stopped. Schools will remain closed until the end of February. Factories cannot resume work because their employees haven't been able to return after the New Year celebration in their home regions. We have adjusted our Chinese growth forecast down for the first quarter, but are still assuming, at least for the moment, that there will be stronger growth in the second quarter. With SARS, the global impact remained limited. But China's importance is much greater today. It's a crucial link in the international supply chain. Foxconn, which produces most of Apple's iPhones, remains closed until further notice and Apple has already warned that the launch of their new iPhone may have to be delayed. Car manufacturers have warned that European and American sites are only a few weeks away from forced closure, due to a lack of parts. Toyota and Honda have already closed factories. For the world economy, the Chinese battle is a race against time.